here's how to scan documents in a really, really fast and efficient way um, using our school photocopiers. Okay, um, I'm going to log in. And then you can see that in the workroom, our photocopiers have this as the USB port. But um, in some cases, like our main office, you'll find them over here on the side as well. Okay, so whichever one works, really. I'm going to plug this in. As soon as I do that, you're going to notice that something comes up on our screen that um, detects it. All right. So there it is, external memory is detected. I'm going to say OK. OK. Now the button that I want to use is user box, not copy or fax or scan. This is the part where it's kind of uh, tricky. So um, yeah, watch carefully. User box will take me here. I want to go to save document. OK. System user box is next. Then external memory. OK. A little tricky. I wish it was more intuitive for people, but there we go. And now it's just set up. Now, uh, in the settings, I can change it. Like, let's say I wanted, instead of going to a PDF, I wanted to go to an image file, whatever I wanted. I could also make it do it all separately or multi-page. I can also change the resolution. I can change um, uh, a lot of different things here. Okay, so once I OK it, um, this is another <laughs> slightly annoying part and that gives it a random uh, name here. So this can be changed. For instance, you could change it to anything you want. Okay, etc. Okay. And um now the two things to remember um are that just like photocopying, you can scan a bunch of documents here, which is wonderful because sometimes you might have a situation where you've got uh plenty of forms and you just want to turn it into one big PDF. That'll take two seconds. Or, just like photocopying, you can open it up and use the bed scanner. This is uh, what I've used before if I've ever wanted to, for example, magnify a text um, and show it on a projector and so on. Okay? But for now, I'm just going to put it in. And it's all set up here. I and it's all set up there. And now I'm going to press start. And then there it goes. It does its thing that it normally does when it's photocopying. Um, only the great thing is... It's now being turned into an electronic file um, for me to either use or just to back something up and so on. Yeah, and so once that's done, you can see that was about 30 pages done in, in you know, less than a minute. You can see it's done because there's nothing left on the screen except going back to this document. Now I can just pop it out. There we go. It's all on here. Thanks.